Hey guys, it's Beano. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Blue, and we got cut, and we rubbed someone's back, and looked at some puke, and then a ship sailed away. Am I saying things out of order? I'm apparently not, apparently. Anyway, in the last part, I said I was getting a Pokemon so I could teach it cut, because no one loves cut. And you know what? You know what I did? Guess who learns cut? Also, I call it the, ho the hostage. Problem is the connector cable. There it goes. Cause we gotta do a trade someday. This is what it looks like when you're doing it online. As, uh, not, not online. When you're doing it with another Game Boy. This is what it looks like. So yeah. Except it's doing the uh, evolution music. Trainer waves farewell as Farfetch'd is transferred. So yeah, <laughs> because when are we ever gonna see a Farfetch? I don't think you see a Farfetch in the rest of the game, so... Ah, it's a duck! <laughs> Seems a bit far-fetched. Oh, by the way, uh, another trainer's Pokemon you cannot rename. There is a... I, I actually don't know if you can rename Pokemon in this game. But anyway, yeah. So, I traded the hostage over. I also really should clear out my inventory. Actually, it's okay. Oh, uh, so anyway, we're gonna teach Cut to ducks. What else does ducks know? I would like to know. It's level 8. Okay, so, even if you were training up a really good Pokemon, this, this is a bird in an electric type area that's level 8. And it's not even that strong. It does no sound attack, though. And Leo, I guess, but... So, Peck! Oh, gosh. Other than that, uh, I will be holding off a little bit. I will want to... We're going to check out the route on the right. Uh, however, I will be putting in the gym in this part, because there's not really anything we can do. I will save the rock, uh, the Diglett Cave until a little bit later. Right now, we are going to train on a couple of guys that are right here. Uh, but, promise me, don't cheat. <laughs> Whoa! I did get a... I did get a... I, um guy. Uh, now, you may be wondering, like, how many trainers are... Actually, there's a ton of trainers on this road. It's ridiculous. Anyway, Ekans! Baba Is not the best choice for this, actually. Uh, Bugaboom! It's gonna look weird having a guy called Ducks. Uh, I'm only keeping in here... Uh, there. I'm only keep... Oh, yeah, poison. Gosh. I'm only keeping him here because he can learn Cut. He can also learn Fly, but Fly is a decent attack, and I feel like teaching it to, to, um, uh, to Birdo. I do want to keep it on Birdo, yes. Uh, I also do want to level up Birdo a little bit, because I'm not going to have all the Pokemon for my party right away. Uh, so yeah, there are quite a lot of trainers on this route, I'll tell you that. However, all of them usually stick to this, uh, walking path. I think I can win, but I don't know. Okay, so anyway, here's another youngster. Yay, he's got a sand shrew. Oh gosh, jump down the jump down the list a bit. Jump down the list a fair bit. I don't even have it. Oh, no, I do. There we go. Look at that level. Look at that level. This is why I'm taking them off now, because these guys are so low leveled, it's ridiculous. However, if you are doing a speedrun, just know that the beginning part of the game is actually kind of hard. You probably would need to grind up. After that, you can skip trainers like nothing. Also, I just... ...use Vine Whip on a Zubat. I'm an idiot. And he just used Leech Life on me, and it sucked more than 5 HP. It sucked 10. That was actually kind of effective. Too bad I can tackle you to death! Nope. Not quite. Not yet. I don't know why, I just can't seem to kill Zubats. Maybe it's because my uh, special set's very high and I'm trying to use Tackle. Oh, come on! If I used Tackle earlier, I would have killed him. But he used Bite, so it's okay. Hey, Zubat! So yeah. Yay, we beat the young star. My Pokemon couldn't! Um, so yeah. Like, it's not a big route, but it's just like there are quite a few trainers just scattered about. For example, we actually have a new variety of trainer. If you know what I mean. Win, lose, or draw. You can tell what this guy does for a living. He's a very crazy gambler. And 
specifically a Japanese gambler. They took out gamblers in later generations, I believe. And in fact, they took out gambling full stop, because later in the game there are slot machines. They don't exist in the European version of Heart Gold onwards, or I think even Platinum took them out. I don't know if Platinum took them out in Europe. Uh, but yeah, and then in Black and White onwards there was no gambling at all, which is a bit of a shame because the Voltor drop minigame was actually kind of nice in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It was nice to have a skill based game because, you know, lotteries are still nice. And in fact, I will play the lotteries a bit because, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, top of channel banner. And if you don't know, just hover over my name and the YouTube thing and I'll show you the channel banner anyway. Atcha! Didn't go my way, what? Okay, sure. Uh, so yeah. So, uh, ooh, there's a guy here. <laughs> uh, is your body ready, though? I, I love the, I love the, our bodies are sufficiently ready in, uh, the Wii Fit Direct. Oh, this guy, this guy, yeah, this guy. This guy, this guy, this guy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, leech seed. <laughs> Don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Please help me, I'm crazy. I don't know. Um, so anyway, so this guy does have a Nidoran male. You may see on the right that he does have a different Pokemon. Wow, Leech Seed, you do nothing! Wow, that is amazing. Uh, you may see on the right that, that there is a new Pokemon. By the way, level ups aren't going to be as dramatic as they were, uh, before. Being two levels underneath someone is a lot worse than being, like, three levels underneath now. For example, this guy is nine levels weaker, yet he's doing okay. Okay, here we go, here's Nidorino. I'm going to switch out to Bugaboom. Uh, Nidorino is Poison Type still. He's the evolution of Nidoran Male at level 16. Uh, he does evolve again with a Moonstone, which is nice, but he does miss moves if he evolves Fire and Moonstone, which is weird, because a lot of the Water Stone evolutions don't seem to miss moves. Also, I feel like either my monitor's freaking out, or just the game does this, where if the screen shakes, the bottom of the sprite appears a little yellow. Maybe that's just my eyes just messing up. So we're going to try and figure out how to fight all these trainers at some point. Cables? What are you, an engineer? Oh. <laughs> okay. This engineer has a Magnemite. Have we seen Magnemite? I think we have. Level 21 though, jeez. Um, however, remember Magnemite, unlike later games, is only electric type. Meaning that your grass type is pretty good. Sonic Boom is a painful attack. It does 20 damage flat out. Uh, like it only does 20 damage. However, in weaker, in weaker levels, yes, it is very strong. It is actually a very good move, especially if you have a weaker Pokemon. And the best part is that because it deals 20 damage no, uh, no matter what, it actually pretty much ignores type disadvantages and other things. So if your opponent uses Harden a lot, just bring out Sonic Boom. Takes him out easy. Oh, that guy was shaking. It's cold. I have never won before. <laughs> that's, a, that's kind of depressing, I'm sorry. And he's a gambler, jeez. You think... Now, I, d I don't understand gamblers, so I'm sorry, but I, d I don't understand, if you are a gambler, why would you keep going if you have never won at all? I mean, I mean, I get, I get, I guess, because there's always the chance that you'll win, and in fact, there's more chance that you'll win the next time, which kind of isn't true. Well, I mean, it kind of is true, because slot machines in real life are rigged to the fact that you... Are there, there are timed wins. The game will win for you at times. It will let you a few easy ones, suck all your money, and then get, have a big payout, but won't be worth it. Because it, it, it takes tax. It takes tax. Uh, slot machines, that's what they do. Oh, snap, it's a Vulpix! I haven't talked about Vulpix before. Vulpix! It's blue. It's the blue uh, version of Growlithe. Um, it's got some good speed and special stats. In fact, I think, I think Vulpix is pretty good. Growl is a bit more offensive, uh, but I think Vulpix works better considering Fire Type is a special attack in this game, so. Come on, hit him with your fury! 
Uh, I need four, don't I? Oh, okay, that works. So yeah, Vulpix! Yay, it's dead. I think I have missed a couple of trainers on the way, but hey, we'll take him out. To dinner! Yeah, I was watching that full play. Oh, snap! A wild Pokemon, I haven't had that in a while. Where I technically caught a Sparrow. I went all the way up to Cerulean just so I could get a Sparrow for this, and I realized that there is a good chance to get a Sparrow here anyway. There was also the Tran... The Trance. It's a Trance! Oh, what class is it? The class of sucking! No. Uh, yeah, youngster. Yeah. He's got a Rattata. I don't know how you pronounce these Pokemon names, so I guess from watching the anime. Sometimes, I think they say Rattata, but I say Rattata. Um, yeah, someone's gonna call me. Oh, jeez, well, I am a level le 11 levels higher. Jeez, I am high. Whoa! What did I sniff? No, don't not that high. Uh, I, I seem to... I want to talk so much that I start skipping words. I don't think it, it's not dyslexia, it's like, uh, dystichia. That's the one when you can't speak or something. It's not specifically dystichia, but... And I don't think that's what it's called, but who cares. Well, someone's gonna care if someone does have dystichia or whatever it's called. If you know what what dystichia actually should be, then please say it in the comments. As in, the inability to speak, or as in, a condition where you speak the wrong things, or you skip speech. Because it's not dyslexia. Dyslexia is writing specifically. Oh! Oh! Mirror move! Uh, I don't use Leer much, so... I would prefer no Leer, actually. Oh, crap! I should've taken... Get, gotten rid of Growl, because Leer is actually gonna be pretty good for Fury Attack. Yeah. Ah, oh. ah, stuff it. Remember, it's pretty good. You can find an escape rope in there. Also, there's not really anything over here. Uh, we're gonna... Oh, yeah, I didn't fight this guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm actually a little bit hungry. I have chocolate on my desk. Not as in poured on my desk, but I have a jar of chocolate on my desk. But I don't want to eat it, because otherwise then I will sound... Like this. I will take one for now. Baba, you are very weak. Do you see how professional I am? By eating during a recording. Defense. Greatly fell. I have no seven second video whip. There should be a service called whip. Because then we can say fine whip. Magnemite? <laughs> By the way, I love how I said, I'm not going to eat. And then I take one, and I'm just like, ah. Tackle the Magnemite. Yeah. I would tackle... Oh, thankfully you didn't use Sonic Boom. He would have killed me then. Seriously, he can kill me right now with Sonic Boom. The only problem is that Sonic Boom isn't that great in the long run, because, again, 20 damage. Anyway, if you keep going on... This guy will be like, when you catch lots of Pokemon, isn't it hard to think up names? In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He'll help you rename them too. AKA, he only renames them. And he calls them good. By the way, fun fact, if you head up here, you can look in the binoculars and see a big Pokemon is sleeping on the road. And if you look here, you can see the only way to get from Cerulean City to Lavender is by the way of the rock tunnel. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, after gym. You can trade a Nidorino for a Nidorina. If you want to. And by the way, here's something. It's Professor Oak's aid. Aid. If you've kept, if you've caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, this guy will give you an item finder. I'm surprised I have nine, actually. Um, an item finder is basically an item you keep using, and it will tell you the position of hidden items. Only problem, I'm picking them up already. You don't need an item finder to find items, just to spot them. This is a new route, by the way. That's a sleeping Pokemon. 
this is how come you can't proceed on. Now, hopefully, I... Oh, gosh. Now, hopefully, we can take out all of these guys. By the way, do you notice how Bugaboom has 29 defense and 45 special? Birdo has 48. Birdo doesn't really have the special, but who needs the special? And Bubba has 49, yeah. Bugaboom is really weak, and this is why I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe get away from the bugs. So yeah, th this is what I mean. Likewise, oh, this is the other, um, engineer. What does he have? What level is it? 18! Yes, this is the guy, this is the guy, this is the guy! Yay! Um, <laughs> let's psychic it out! Wow, that was weak! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Yes! <laughs> I'm, I'm going to switch out after this. So yeah. Owl these guys right away. Uh, what are they doing? I don't know. Okay, so... Oh, come on! Uh, by the way, that, uh, the trade in Route 5... For the Nidoran female in Pokemon Yellow, it's actually a trade for a, from a Cubone to get him a choke. Both of which we haven't seen before. Isn't that great? Uh, I'm a little bit afraid to send up Bubba. But I'm very afraid to send up Birdo. But then again, they haven't really been using electric type moves on me. They've only been using Sonic Boom, which is a normal type attack. Uh, by the way, you may be wondering what is Mirror Move? It basically deals as much damage as your opponent just dealt. Or more so, it uses the attack they just did. Sorry, I haven't used Mirror Move in a while. To put it simply, it's actually kind of nice. Especially if someone uses it against you. The only problem is that Birdo doesn't have the best defense. And I'm a little bit afraid for this Magneton right here. Well... Fury attack and hope for the best. Magneton, by the way, is the evolution of Magnemite. However, he evolves at level 30. Don't know how this worked. Please hit one more. Oh, four, four. I'm okay with four. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm dead. I'm dead. Holy snap! Kill him! Kill him! Yes! <laughs> um, yeah, so Magneton actually has a pretty good special stat, which is why I was a little bit afraid of trying to use, um... Whoa, you spark plug. I was a little bit afraid of using, um, uh, Venusaur, uh, Ivysaur, not Venusaur, we haven't gone that far yet. Uh, I do think there may be one more trainer, but I'm not too sure where he is. They are all accessible via the road, though. But I feel, I, feel, I do feel like we've gotten them all, let's see. So we've gotten the one with the polywag out. That's the last guy, I thought we were missing a gambler. Yep. I was thinking that. Yeah, we fought everyone else. And this part's already gone for 18 minutes. But I'm fighting the gym, because that gym's not going to take longer than 20 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, ooh, what can we do? Uh, is he poison type? If it kills him, then yes. Wow. You are so weak, Bugaboom. <laughs> is that lightning, or is that a very noisy train? I hear rumbling outside my window, and I'm a little bit afraid. Uh, uh, the planes are just flying really low right now. It's, it's very odd, actually. Do -do -do -do. This will kill him, because Oddish is actually a bit weaker. Oh, at least he can't use rap. Hey, you can't poison me. Actually, he could have poisoned me, so that was just chance that it didn't poison me. Hooray, Bugaboom, you actually did something once. And now all my Pokemon are about to die. But thankfully, we have defeated all the trainers on this route in record time, 20 minutes. If you are underleveled for Lieutenant Surge, I recommend you go here and train up. Also, if you need to catch a Sparrow to trade for the Farfetch, if you want to teach Cut to a Pokemon, uh, go go right ahead, because Sparrow isn't that rare in that route, so... So yeah. Um, see, I would normally end a part here, but I haven't really had a very long part in a while, so... Uh, so yeah. Heal me, doctor!
Uh, so yeah, Sparrow does have a 30% chance in that route, and no, I'd recommend it. Uh, you can also get a Drowsy, I think we've already talked about Drowsy though. Drowsy, <laughs> Drowsy man, Drowsy. Uh, Dr Drowsy wouldn't be very helpful for the gym, but he'd be kind of helpful. Uh, Bob is level 28, which is kind of like, yeah, he's gonna evolve. Uh, I think I'm set for leveling up Birdo though, because actually, yeah, we're not really gonna get any of those Pokemon until a fair bit later. But anyway, go up to a bush, go to Pokemon, hit uh, Ducks, and hit Cut. Hacked away with Cut, and it breaks the the tree thing. And now we can head inside, possibly the most annoying gym in the game. Champ in the making, Lieutenant Search is a nickname, people refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis too. You have to break a code. It's a kind of crappy code. There are three trainers here. Which is a bit of a pain. Because I would actually like to get it really quickly. Uh, however, none of these trainers are that strong. And especially if you go in with a grass type, you're all set. So, use your Oddish. Use your Bellsprout. Which I think both of which should have evolved by now if you've been using them effectively. Look how much damage that guy did. That, that wasn't even like not very effective. Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> I know, I know, he's gonna use Screech. Um, we aren't really gonna see any new Pokemon here. We've already seen Voltorb, we're going to see Magnemite, and we're gonna see Pikachu. We're gonna see one evolution later, because one, Bubba is actually very close to becoming an Ivysaur, and two, two, because... How easy is it to evolve a Pikachu? We actually haven't gotten a Thunderstone yet, so if you've gotten a Pikachu, you can't really evolve it for a while. Of course I get the critical hits on the end. Uh, and it's another Voltorb. I will heal up just before the end, uh, just before we fight the, the gym leader, but other than that, yeah. So yeah, like this guy, uh, this isn't going to take too long. He's not that powerful, really. Uh, his, his, uh, oh, there you go, there's a Sonic Boom. Yep. Also, Voltorb can possibly know Explosion, which basically means he blows up, kills himself, and does so much damage to your opponent. Don't get experience for it, though, because you're dead. But, hey. <laughs> hey, it's good for taking out people. Fried! My circuits are fried! Uh, also, these trainers will get annoying, because they will stand in the way. Of everything. So, yeah. Yes, you! Uncle Sailor wants you- I don't know. Uh, so this guy has two Pikachus. They're both level 21. Um, what can I say other than Pikachu is very weak, so that's okay. Really. And also, by the way, I'm tanking this whole thing as Bubba. I know he's so much higher leveled. He's going to be five levels higher than Lieutenant Surge. Because Lieutenant Surge is a level 24 Pokemon. <laughs> um, which is- and in fact, I feel like he's going to level up again. Which is going to be a bit of a, bit of a, um, yeah. Granted, I think this is kind of what I do normally. What I did as a, as a young lad. I, uh, basically trained one Pokemon up. I trained one Pokemon up, and it would be pretty good until I got to the end of the game. Because I can't, you can't heal at the end of the game. It's a gauntlet run at the end of the game. Which, I guess, yeah, that's good training. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Search my had strict CO. What the heck? The army? <laughs> when do you fight wars in Pokemon? When are there ever wars in Pokemon? You do all your fighting with Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna stick to a Vine Whip. Aha! This is my special stat, you fool. Uh, yeah, okay, this, this, this is getting annoying. Doing critical hits that do that. That is the most annoying thing in the world, let me tell you that. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So anyway, on that four player, uh, by the way, in a couple of parts ago I referenced, um, and by couple, I mean quite a few actually, I, uh, met, referenced a, uh, four player, oh, by the way, you have to go into your party, hit cut every time you go out of the, the map. It's kind of annoying. I referenced that, uh, four player, five Pokemon game race. Uh, they had so much trouble trying to open the uh, door to Lieutenant Surge, and I don't really see that. It's a bit of a strategy, but 
Yeah, they seem to be kind of messing it up a lot, and they took like 10 minutes just trying to open that gate. Granted, it is a bit of an annoying puzzle. Uh, and in fact, we're gonna, I'm going to shut off right now. Uh, so yeah, by the way, we did all that, we, we fought all three trainers in five minutes. I think that's, that's a pretty good time. Basically, what you're supposed to do is that there are 15 trash cans here. You have to look in each of them until, until it says a certain thing. Uh, this is all set, by the way, so, as in, I mean, it is random, but the positions are set, so you can't just keep looking in the same can until it says whatever it is. But basically, you have to look in every single trash can until it says, hey, there's a switch underneath the trash. Turn it on. The first electric lock is open. The, the next lock is right next to it. I just did that on the first go. Anyway, the, the second lock is in an adjacent space. Not diagonal, but adjacent. You're very lucky if you get the corners, and you're very lucky if you do that on your first go. Holy snap, I don't know how I did that, but okay. Cram full of Pokemon books. Uh, anyway, here's Lieutenant Surge. Uh, well, I'm... What? What? Well, I mean, I'm not... I, what? 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 I mean, if you're fighting with Pokemon, why are they going for you? I don't, I, 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 I give up. I give up. I give up. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So first of all, he sent out a Voltorb. This Voltorb knows Tackle, Screech, and Sonic Boom. Um, yeah. I'm surprised I didn't write down Misty's Pokemon uh, moves. I, I, I can't believe I didn't do that. Uh, so yeah. This Voltorb is as strong as everything else you've been fighting. Don't worry. It's not really that strong. Two blind webs, seriously. Now he's going to use a Pikachu. Guess what level this one is. Level 18. It's less than the three other Pikachus he just fought. Which means he's going to mostly die. And if it's critical, then yes, he would have died. And, yep. <laughs> This is what I mean by, yeah, I wish I hadn't been training Bubba all the way, because now suddenly it's very easy. And he's got a Raichu. Raichu is the evolution of a Pikachu. You evolve it with a Thunderstone. Uh, the good thing is that his speed is very high, so he's going to go first, isn't he? Yep. Uh, <laughs> the only problem is that Raichu doesn't learn any moves through leveling. Um, so you have to stick to Pikachu for a while. Uh, he does know Thunderbolt, which is a stronger version of Thundershock. I mean, that wasn't very effective, but do remember, he is five levels under me, and that was half damage. That is pretty strong. By the way, I I haven't been referring to this, but whenever some I say half damage, generally their move has the standard type attack bonus, or the same type attack bonus, which means... Uh, oh, he also knows Thundershock. Uh, which basically means your move is one and a half times... Uh, it deals one and a half times more damage. Uh, if it is the same type as your own Pokemon, as in the one you're attacking with. Um, generally, a lot of the a lot of the trainers you fight do that. Uh, but yeah. Bulbasaur! He's very good! <laughs> this is why I recommend Bulbasaur. If you have Squirtle, you're kind of stuffed, by the way. Oh! Razor Leaf! Razor Leaf! Razor Leaf, stuff you, Leech Seed! Razor Leaf. Also, because I would actually like to have two Grass-type attacks. Do, 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 do. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then take my Thunder Badge. Seriously. I just did this in like 10 minutes. This is really easy. Uh, cranks up your Pokemon speed. Are you, uh, also, by the way, uh, in this game, in this game only, uh, badges actually boost your Pokemon stats. You can, by the way, learn Fly now. Uh, he also gives you TM24, which is Thunderbolt. It's actually a very good electric-type attack. I would recommend it. Uh, you can also learn Thunder. That's a stronger electric-type attack. Uh, but Thunderbolt, I don't think most Pokemon seem to miss Thunderbolt. It's actually very odd. Uh, but, yeah. Um, uh, Pokemon, yep. Uh, so, anyway, with that, I'm going to end the part off here. I'll see you kids next time. And I'll probably eat a bit, because I'm hungry. It's 6 o'clock. Uh... uh Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, when we'll continue on with Pokemon Blue. Uh, where will our zany adventures go? Um, to Diglett Cave, I guess. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys there. Bye.
Singing out, huh?